assalamu alaikum dear students and uh, welcome back hello everyone welcome back to learn daily physics so in the introduction in the previous introduction in my previous lecture i've told you that why we place this plasma in electric and magnetic field and what happens when they are placed in electric and magnetic field so we are going to discuss our first case now that we have a lot of cases that we place uh, this in the uniform electric and magnetic field so our today's case is that when this electric field will be zero in in next case we will consider this electric field and in the very next case we will say that this is not uniform anymore we will take this non uniform electric field and then then non uniform magnetic field and we will see all those cases and that what happens to the plasma when we place them in electric and magnetic fields so when uh, so proceeding to our lecture when we talk about plasma and when we talk about electric and magnetic field when we want to discuss their force how we describe their force we describe their force by the lorentz force so we say f is equals to q into e plus v cross b you can place vector as you want then you have to place a vector here so f is equals to q into e plus v cross b and this means that e is zero i told you in our first case we will consider this e equals to zero so f will be equals to q into f will be equals to q into v cross b q into v cross b so we will write this as f is equal m into dv by dt this is uh, newton's second law f is equals to ma and this a is equals to dv by dt and this is equals to q into v cross b okay equals to v cross b so So we write this dv by dt is equals to that m into we write this as v dot and this is equals to and we say that the magnetic field we applied is along z direction so q into v cross b z okay this is b z so now we have to find this v cross b we know that we can we can calculate the cross product from that uh, v cross b is equals to v cross b equals to i j k v of x v of y and v of z and uh, we are considering only z direction why we are considering only z direction to make ourselves uh, because we are not very familiar to that we are we are doing this at the first time we are considering the most simplest case and we made this e equals to 0 and then b is along z axis so that we can get a simplest case and we can understand what happens when we provide this magnetic field so for our simplicity we are just having this term if you don't have this term you, you want to consider them all and you will consider them all you will get this v cross b from that you will get the v of x v of y and v of z and you can get the components of f of x f of y and f of z so it will be more difficult for us and we are considering our simplest form so uh, when we solve this we get um, v of y we get v of y into v of z i and v cross b we will write this as v cross b minus this term v of x into v of z and this one is j you know how to take a determinant and this uh, is zero Okay, because when when you will take you multiply this one and this one it will equals to zero so now we have to put the value of this 
we cross b here and uh, we will also divide this m here and we will make a components of this term it, it will be equals to v of x dot plus v of y dot plus v of z dot and this will be equals to q over m we will write i j and k because we are going to compare it so q over m v of y b c i unit vector minus q over m v of x b z j vector and plus v of and zero it's zero here k vector okay so we will say that it will from here we will consider we will compare this equation uh, i component to the i component j component to the j component and the k component to the k component so from that we, we can calculate the velocity accelerations we can say and from acceleration we can calculate velocities positions and everything so v of x will be equal to v x of dot will be equal to q over m this term v y v of c this term from v of y dot will be equal to minus q over m v of x p of z okay so writing this as a, a couple equation we can also write them as we are taking this these couple equation as it is and we can also write them when we take this b of z here and we can write them like this q over over m v of z i'm writing this first and v of y and this will be equals to <laughs> let's uh, write them as it is q over m v uh, b of z v of x so let's write them as star and this one as double star okay so two steric with one steric equation so one steric equation can be written as v of x dot will be written as in this term here is equals to q over m b z if you recall your electrodynamics the chapter of your electrodynamics uh, when you griffith from the book of uh, griffith i think uh, electrodynamics introduction to electrodynamics it have fifth chapter magnetostatics and in that magnetostatics you have studied cyclotron if you haven't studied cyclotron you can study there i hope you've uh, already studied because this is your previous course and in that this q over m b z is equals to cyclotron frequency if you haven't studied it you have you might go and study so or if you leave it we don't have any issue with that you have to understand that this is a cyclotron frequency and we will write this as plus minus omega c v of y okay and this v of y of dot is equals to minus plus omega z v of x okay so you understand I you understand what I was trying to say hmm? that this term here is equals to this term plus minus omega z why I'm writing this plus and minus omega z because this plus minus omega z this and uh, this upper plus is for positive charge I told you in the introduction that this this plus is for the positive charge and this negative is for the negative charge okay so we have a negative sign here we will have 
it's actually two equations and this is actually two equation for the positive charge and for the negative charge if the positive charge is moving in the positive x-axis or a positive z-axis then the negative charge will move in the negative z-axis with negative gyration it will if the positive charge is moving clockwise then the negative charge will move anti-clockwise okay so this is what equation says that and this is the coupled equation we can say this is the coupled equation now we want to decouple them and uh, the, these two equations are the coupled equation because uh, you know you say here that you have v of x v dot of x and here you have v y you're relating x with y you want v of x here and also the v of x here so now we want this is this these equation these kind of equations are called coupled equation as we've seen that the relation between and uh, when we've discussed uh, in electrodynamics 2 that uh, electric and magnetic field we have the coupled equation that in this direction we have a curl of b and in this direction we have curl of e is equals to magnetic field minus partial b by partial t so it was relating e and b now it is relating v x component with y component and we want to separate them we want uh, only x component in this equation so let's make this decouple let's decouple this equation it is a coupled equation so moving on to the decoupling we say that uh, when we take the time derivative of this equation when we take the time derivative of this equation we get vx of double dot v x of double dot uh, q of uh, q over m b c over m and uh, we will get uh, another v dot of x and v y dot okay uh, what i've done is I've simply take the derivative from this and uh, it was a dot on this and double dot on this so let's put the value of this vy dot we already can uh, we already calculated the uh, value of this vy dot and it is equal it equals to this term and uh, from this putting the value from the previous equation that uh, vx of double dot is equals to q or m b c into in the value of this v y dot is equals to minus i think it is equals to yes it's equals to minus q over m v of x v of z okay this is equals to this term uh, here i put this value here from here to here and you can write and you can write the names of the equation equation one two three if you want so now you're msc students you're doing bs or whatever you're doing you can understand where i'm putting these equations from so they will be equals to minus q over m v uh, i should write vz first bc whole square and v of x and v of x double dot now you can see that we have v of x on our left side and we have f v of x over right side so simply uh, just like that uh, when we when we take the derivative of the second equation we will get i'm not uh, doing this uh, you will get q over m v of z v of y okay and v of y and so these are the two decoupled equations so when when you name them as equation one and two it named them as equation one and two and then you name it equation three and four three and four so these three and four equations are the decoupled equation so you can put them here that you can say that uh, you you will put plus minus omega c and uh, plus minus omega c when you will put plus minus omega c plus 
and when you take the square of positive one it will be positive and when we will take the square of the negative one it will also be positive so you will get v of x double dot omega c this minus here c square v of x and v of y and here we have also a square so v of y double dot will be equals to q over m this will be equals to omega c whole square plus, um, okay it, will, it won't be plus minus v of y okay so now we, you can say that we have this decoupled equation okay and we we know that now these are uh, we will write a characteristic equation from that then we will calculate the auxiliary equation and we will dot, we will write that what v dot is so we get this omega c what does this mean this omega c means that uh, you know what uh, a cyclotron is so what is a cyclotron huh? In a particle accelerator, we also discuss the cyclotron, and this cyclotron is when you talk about the cyclotron. Let's say, in our case, uh, which we will be discussing, which we are discussing now, our cyclotron will be in this direction. It will be in this direction. A cyclotron is like this, <laughs> like sp spring. You can say that it's moving here and in this direction. It, it could be like this cyclotron okay so like a spring it revolves like this and goes upward okay so whichever direction you want it to be in this direction it, it will be like this okay in Z direction it will be like this so you get Omega C Omega C it tells us that it will have the uh, cyclotron frequency which means that it is making gyrations you say gyrations or gyrations so it is making gyration what is gyration gyrations mean this movement in cyclotron this llama motion okay you also call this llama motion and uh, because it's moving in this direction so now we've seen that these when we place an electron or uh, a proton a positive charge or a negative charge a positive particle or a negative particle it do gyrations it make a cyclotron and uh, we get a cyclotron frequency which is telling us that it makes gyrations it makes uh, a llama motion so our today's lecture is enough now and from in, an, in our next lecture we are going to make the characteristic equation from this and then we will calculate what v of x and v of y is we can, we've calculated v of x dot and we've this v of x dot v of y dot v of x dot v of y dot and then we, we've calculated v of x double dot v of y double dot so now we are going to make in our next lecture we will make the characteristic equation for them and then we will calculate from that characteristic equation we will write an auxiliary equation of this v of dot then we are going to integrate them we are going to solve them and we will calculate what v of x v of y is what x and y is we are going to locate their position also so till then for our next lecture i hope you've enjoyed your, your lecture and people were asking me to make uh, a lecture series on this i was quite busy that i can make them on time so I hope my, I have my own research work and my exams to do so for that I'm really very sorry for you I hope you've enjoyed it and thank you very much for your time if you like my channel and you have to subscribe to my channel learn daily physics and if you want notes and uh, books any other things for these re regarding to your BS course uh, we will provide you at learndailyphysics.com you visit on Google you can search them on Google you can get any notes and anything any material regarding to this physics okay so thank you very much for your time if you have any query you can ask me in the comments and you can also mail me at learn daily physics at the rate of gmail.com so thank you very much assalamu alaikum